Our next speaker is Simon Butbeth Lendy, and uh, he's a public relations and campaigns manager with the Institution of Occupational Safety and Health, or IOSH. Is a chartered mm -hmm. PR practitioner who oversees day-to-day -day public relations and campaign communications for global professional body, IOSH. Simon is also responsible for managing communications with the organization's award-winning No Time to Lose campaign. So uh, Simon has a long history of uh, working with education and research and communication, and his program, No Time to Lose, has been nominated and has received awards. So uh, Simon, if you would join us, please, uh, with your comments, we would appreciate it. Thank you very much, Tom. Thanks, everybody. Um, just changing my view. So it's a great pleasure and uh, privilege to for me to join this, this annual uh, event. I'm joining you from England today. Um, and we're really proud to collaborate with uh, amazing colleagues and advocates for change like Linda at ADAO and Mavis Nye in the UK, whom I, I know you heard from earlier. Uh, Linda and Mavis and Ray, her husband, are absolute inspirations. Today in this presentation, focusing on prevention, I'll briefly introduce you to how the Institution of Occupational Safety and Health is tackling occupational cancers caused by asbestos through No Time to Lose, our campaign. Um, in case you're new to IOSH, here's an overview very quickly of who we are, what we do. We're the world's largest membership organization of its kind on, uh, for professional safety, health and well-being in the workplace with almost uh, 50,000 members in around 130 countries. Um, and we, uh, we advocate, we <laughs> we um yeah so along with everything listed here as a charity and a global ngo we invest effort research intelligence resources connections and expertise on in preventing harm in the workplace to achieve a healthier safer world of work for present and future generations directing some of this onto diseases caused by asbestos has been an imperative for us for over seven years now um so 2013, we surveyed our members and we consulted senior volunteers working in safety and health across many industries. And we asked for their priorities. Cancers caused by work was very high on their list of concerns. And it was something that wasn't going away. There was little change happening. So we began to create a campaign that would use champions and ambassadors throughout businesses and organizations to raise awareness educate and prevent further harm. Uh, the campaign has th um, three sort of main parts to it. Uh, the main point of the campaign is to raise awareness. Uh, Work-based carcinogens are largely under the radar and we need to raise their profile if we want to, to see more action to control them. Responsible businesses are doing a lot of what is required but they're a, they're a very small proportion of all of the workplaces and uh, they need to do more. Uh, all workplaces need to do more, all, all environments, work environments. So we, we've developed free resources to help everybody. And finally, we're encouraging organizations to make commitments to prevent carcinogenic exposures at work. Uh, and this is improving policy and practice. So whether you're an employer, an employee, an industry body, policymaker, a safety and health professional, occupational hygienist, anyone really, we, we want to call time on work caused cancers. We can beat occupational cancer if we work together to control exposure risks. And through working collaboratively and growing a network of businesses and organizations worldwide, including amazing organizations like ADAO, we reach more people and we provide resources which can help and help people think, help people take the right actions and um, prevent further harm. So we know, we know the figures, but the figures tell only part of the story. When we launched this campaign, there was a, when we were trying to find evidence of the scale of occupational cancer caused by every carcinogen, the estimates at the time was looking at uh, saying around 666,000 people a year, um, now at least 742,000 from the latest um, study, but we, we know that there's more research going on, and really 
the likelihood is that that figure is is a is a an underestimate, um, significant underestimate. Half of all work related deaths in the European Union were due to occupational cancer. Uh, cancer caused by work is the biggest killer in China, uh, Western Pacific, Latin America, and asbestos remains the single most lethal carcinogen linked to work. And these figures provide strong data showing the burden of work caused cancers, but they they just tell a fraction of the story. We know occupational cancers can and must be prevented. Our members, their job is to ensure that people can work safely, can go home as healthy at the end of the day as they as, as they arrived. And uh, uh, this any exposure to any harm at work is something that can and ought to be designed out. So we've launched four phases of the No Time to Lose campaign. Um, and these are diesel engine exhaust emissions, solar radiation, silica dust and asbestos, but of course, asbestos is the is the largest, uh, is is the, the the biggest and most um, significant of these. And one of the things we established early on is who working in which trades is most at risk. We saw that less well regulated types of work, including self employed traders working in building, property maintenance, plumbing, electrical work, renovations, were many times more likely. Uh, to be exposed to hazards, um, and especially asbestos, harder to reach and to influence. Um, and in countries like the UK, where asbestos has been banned for two decades, and yet at least half a million buildings contain uh, asbestos, people, a new generation who were completely unaware of, of asbestos, people in their late teens, early 20s are going into um, work on, on construction sites or they're going into people's homes or buildings to do work without any sense of some of the hazards that uh, are awaiting them and the fact that asbestos might might be there. Um, and as we know, exposure to asbestos is widespread in society. Uh, and so we, we've, we've sought to find trades, uh, find ways of, of, of getting to people who might not otherwise uh, get our information. And one of the real strengths of this campaign is the linkages through supply chains, the ability for very large organizations who then employ many, many smaller contractors to cascade information through the, um, the supply chain and to affect more people and to, to raise awareness and, and help people to know what's, what they're looking for. Um, in 2018, we, as we prepared to launch the campaign, we, we surveyed tradespeople throughout the UK to find out their levels of awareness. You'll see here that um, only three in five um, have the aware have the risks regularly reinforced. The the information, um, a third never check asbestos or an asbestos register if they uh, go to a site where they're. There, there is asbestos recorded. Uh, only two thirds of respondents recognize the signs of lung disease caused by asbestos and a quarter say they probably have been exposed to asbestos. Um, a further 40, 42%, a quarter say they have been and a further 42% say they may have been. So that's, that's shocking. That's, um, that's, that's really quite frightening. Um, so in terms of what we do, one of the real areas of focus has been to create free practical materials available online where uh, and, and available to be shared extensively uh, through uh, our, our collaborations and through companies and through um, fellow organizations those are made those are designed to be easy to understand they're designed to appeal to the broadest audiences and they're in formats available digitally that uh, that can be used in a, a small group situation or for presentations or can be um, can be reproduced and, and shared and disseminated really easily. And of course, these cover things like the simple what what is questions, what is asbestos and um, where is it and uh, um, 
the size of it. I think this is probably drawn from uh, from uh, work that this kind of thing from work that um, that Linda and others have done with this these 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 um, really visual uh, cues and um, and a series of of kind of pictures that give people a, a sense of where where asbestos lurks and then of course the, the health um, risks and what shocked us when we were starting to prepare for this campaign was that uh, in the UK we've known asbestos is harmful to health since 1895 when and we hold the records for the the factory inspectors uh, and we've we've seen that um, they they were first reporting some of the some of the effects um, way back in the in the late 19th century, but the but nothing really sort of came to came to people's attention uh, for another 30 or 40 years, and then of course there was lots more work um, happening in um, in the US and, and elsewhere ever since then. So you will know this, but here's an example of some of the designs that we've created and some steps, some simple steps and ways of managing this and um, and these are just some of the organizations uh, around the world including MTR which uh, uh, is a massive sort of Chinese based Hong Kong uh, and Chinese based um, transport company and large construction companies operating around the world uh, who have signed up to this and are using their networks to share information uh, and we've, we're really proud to have partnered with ADAO for, uh, ADAO for uh, several years now and we're we're proud that uh, some of our resources are on the no the K N O W uh, part of the uh, website uh, for ADAO. So hopefully that can be shared even more widely. And here are some good practice case studies that we're also using, and another example of the practical materials. So um, please visit this this URL to find out more. But um, thank you for your time, and I'll be around to answer more questions later. Thank you, Simon. That was wonderful. Uh, for those that haven't been to their webpage, I would highly suggest going to IOSH. I go there from time to time. The information is really, really helpful, and I do recommend it. 